What's up everybody, John Delarose here, the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. I just want to do a quick shelf tour. This is most of my comics. I've got another shelf uh, in a different room, of course, just to make it more difficult, uh, of stuff that I'm kind of reading or planning on reading. And this is kind of like my, my stash, I guess. I'll start up top, because I've got some, some just big stuff up top that doesn't really fit down below here. I've got The Strangers in Paradise Omnibus, uh, for Terry Moore. I've got uh, the next one here. I've got Rachel Rising on the way. I finally found the black edition and I like the um, the black covers. Let me see if I can find, where would I find? Oh, I've got more Terry Moore over here. I should, uh... here we go. All right. He does these uh, these black cover version. Ah, is this one of them? Yeah, I guess, I guess it is. Or, or limited cover versions um, of the books and he comes with a sketch and all that. And I got the, uh, the Rachel Rising one coming pretty soon here. That's Motor Girl, that's Echo. I have all of his stuff because Terry Moore is uh, one of my favorite artists. So there you go. All right, so let's get back here. Got my uh, weird fantasy, my shock suspense, and uh, and the Dark Horse versions. These are actually black and white, and the the original publications. You see, they're slightly taller, so they got really big art on them, which is very fun for these uh, for the ECs. But I've also got these, which are uh, in color, so I like that too. Um, probably going to be collecting these going forward. I've got a Kirby's Dingbat Love, which is a um, Jack Kirby, um, just unpublished stuff. We've got some more big stuff. History of the Marvel Universe. This is that big treasury edition, so you can kind of see how big it is uh, compared to everything else. We have another big, we've got uh, Graham Nolan's Return to Monster Island here. Whoops, I just wrinkled the book. That sucks. Uh, we've got Skies of Fire. This is an indie book, and this is the, the hardcover uh version of that beautiful art in the series. Uh, it's, a, it's a steampunk sort of deal. Silver Surfer Parable, which is that treasury edition size. This is uh, Stan Lee and Mobius, uh, the European artist take on Silver Surfer. All right, uh, continuing along the top, I've got all of my Valiant Deluxe hardcovers, uh, which uh, is all of them except for uh, Britannia, Imperium, and the new Exo Man of War, so, which I still have to get. I'll get those eventually, but. Here we go. Now I get down to my epic collections, um, and I have proudly every epic collection in print. Uh, there are a few missing here. You'll, you'll notice there's a Fantastic Four volume that looks like it should be there. It's because I'm reading it right now. Um, and it goes down all the way in the lines. I collect all of them. There's there's a Conan line, which is like the Dark Horse Conan, and then there's Star Wars, the, uh, which are out of the Mar which was Dark Horse Star Wars also, which are out of the Marvel Universe, um, but the rest is the Marvel Universe love reading these. Uh, if you watch the channel, you know that I um, pretty much only review those <laughs> and other stuff. So here we go. We'll get down into here. This is kind of like my Spider-Man shelf. Um, so I've got a lot of extra Spider-Man stuff uh, because I'm, I've always been a big Spider-Man fan. This is Spider-Girl and then some trades that tie into uh, Spider-Girl universe because that mc2 by tom defalco is my favorite stuff in the whole world if you don't have this spider girl complete collection go out and buy it today this is exactly what comics should be then i've got a couple uh marvel masterworks for amazing spider-man after the omnibus of volume four there's like some missing things uh it starts with 15 and it goes up to 21 i this is 17 and 15 16 i don't have because it's absurdly expensive then 18 through 21 uh, i just haven't bought yet but if you get 15 to 21 of Masterworks, then you can go to the Roger Stern Omnibus and you have a completely unbroken run of uh, Amazing Spider-Man, which is pretty neat. Marvel Team-Up is obviously Spider-Man also. Uh, there's four volumes of this. I just have the first two right now. Spectacular Spider-Man is finally coming out also. I have the first two volumes of that. We get into the original Clone Saga, uh, which kind of overlaps with some of that stuff. The complete alien costume Saga, which... Uh, which takes place right after that uh, Roger Stern omnibus. Tombstone, Spectacular Spider-Man. Now this is some uncollected stuff in the 300s right here. And the, the Todd DeZago and Mike Winnego Spider-Man is in the 400s. And these are kind of the end of that volume one Spider-Man before they renumbered everything. And then they renumbered everything right here, next chapter. Yay. All right. Then we get right after this is the Revenge of the Green Goblin, which kind of ends this storyline and Light and Darkness, which kind of overlaps with this time period. And that's when J. Michael Straczynski takes over the book and he takes over for a long time. Now I had J. Michael Straczynski trades, but they are coming out with omnibuses. So I just am upgrading for those. So uh, I got rid of those, sold those. 
and doing the omnibus. Now, Mark Millar had a side stories. Peter David had a uh, has one of the also, which he did Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. I just haven't gotten that yet. I don't know why. Brand New Day comes right after that. The Gauntlet comes right after that. Volume, uh, volume 2 is coming out very soon. Big Time comes right after The Gauntlet. I think there's a third volume that should be in there. Then New Ways to Live. Then Spider Island. Um, and then we get into the Superior Spider-Man. I'm missing volume two of this, which is out of print and very hard to find. If you have one and you want to donate it to me, uh, let me know. <laughs> and of course, I, I only kind of collect big trades, so these are the only next big trades, Spider-Verse and Clone Conspiracy at that point. Um, this is a Spider-Man Hubert and Torch uh, limited series by Dan Slott. You know, this is honestly some of Dan Slott's best work. It's really, really good Spider-Man stuff. Highly recommend it. Uh, we got a complete Frank Miller Spider-Man, which is fun. Uh, Doom 2099, I've reviewed that on the channel. And then all the Spider-Man 2099 paperbacks exist uh, in the first volume. I haven't gone into the second. And then we got a Spider-Gwen hardcover because I got that. Uh, somebody sent it to me. So that's it. And then we get into our omnibuses. Uh, I should guess I'll do the omnibuses last and go through my just standard trades collection. So we got a Black Widow complete, Captain America, Fantastic Four by Hickman, volume one. I have Volume 2 in Omnibus, but Volume 1 is out of print and super expensive. Uh, green Goblin, a lighter shade of green. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Human Torch thing. This is all Stan Lee work right here, so uh, that's why I got that. Uh, Incredible Hulk by Jason Aaron. Um, not, not, not the best run. It's all right. Um, Infinity Crusade, Infinity Watch. Uh, I think these will be collected in Omnibus soon. Might get rid of these soon. Iron Fist, which is the uh, from the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, which is the uh, black and white stuff from the magazine. Nick Fury versus Shield from the '80s. Nova Classic Volume One. Punisher stuff. Shield. Thor. Now I got Thor: Blood and Thunder because Infinity Watch Volume One and Two actually doesn't contain all of the Infinity Watch comic. There's like a five or six issues in between which does not get collected in here and it was in here so before i read when i read volume one i wanted to go and read these in order and so i read them like that that's a way to do that uh, it comes after infinity i guess it overlaps with infinity crusade also uh let's see thor here this finishes off the jms omnibus because he didn't finish off his run and i got a bunch of x-men stuff inferno i have because inferno as an omnibus is out of print and like 500 bucks Road to Onslaught, because I wanted to read Onslaught, and so I read the Road to Onslaught. We got Onslaught Rising and Cable in, X in that. They have, uh, like, Aftermath Onslaught ones. I haven't gotten those yet. Um, got Burnout with Onslaught. <laughs> Werewolf by Night 2, as you see. I have one. It's just on my other shelf. Follow the Mutants is another one where the hardcovers are, like, really hard to find. And Quasar Classic, because it's different. Now, Spider-Girl had all these uh, uh, digest size versions before, and these are Spider-Girl... The Buzz, which was in there. The Juggernaut, which is also from their Fantastic Five. So these are miniseries, which are probably never going to get collected again in the Spider-Girl universe. And then uh, a bunch of those. Uh, I, I think there's three more I still need to get. Uh, but this goes up through about Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, sorry, 75 or so. And then I got this Young Allies deal, uh, which I haven't read yet. There's Golden Age, Bucky and stuff. Got a nice, huge Ditko hardcover of, of short stories from his Charlton days, which is beautiful. I love Ditko, as anybody knows. Batman Nightfall 2 and 3, because I sold one to somebody, and I don't know why I did that. I'm really, I'm going to eventually upgrade to the hardcovers of these because I'm a big Chuck Dixon fan and just love this storyline. No Man's Land 2 and 4, just because I hadn't bought the other ones yet. I was just slowly finding these at half price books. They're going to be coming out with an omnibus of this, too. So I might just get rid of those. Batman Bruce Wayne Fugitive, which, uh, you know, I'm just slowly accumulating some bat stuff. Batgirl Stephanie Brown. This is my other favorite series of all time, um, It um, other than Spider-Girl. Um, I don't know where Volume 1 is. I have it somewhere. But if you haven't read this, this is like, this is quintessential good superhero stuff. Superman, uh, Death and Return of, and then Supergirl Peter David. I'm reading Volumes 2 and 3 right now. Uh, Super Sons Omnibus. I got this for 30 bucks. That's the only reason I got it. So <laughs> I hear it's good. Zero Hour. I loved this event when I was a kid, uh, but I only read like, I think three out of the four issues or whatever. This is the big omnibus covering everything. Good stuff. Tarzan. Uh, Simonson's Ragnarok. This is great stuff. Outer Darkness by my boy, my boy John Lehman. This is a really wonderful sci-fi series. Uh, some Stray Bullets. I bought Volume 1 because I thought it was Volume 1. It's really Volume 7. And then there's the real Volume 1. I'm going to go through all that eventually. 
Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I've done reviews of these. These are pretty fun. Uh, big deluxe editions, nice oversize. Wild Stars by Michael Tierney. This is a combo of comics and um, prose uh, from uh, this universe. It's very good. Uh, Pack and Slam by Gary Shipman. Good stuff. Punchline, which is uh, a wonderful indie superhero comic by a friend of mine. We have Alt Hero, uh, the first omnibus, which is good stuff also. Berserk Volume 1, which I've got the other four back at my house down there. And then we get our last shelf, which is Mind Management by Matt Kent. This is some of the best comics ever made. Uh, definitely recommend that. It's a head trip. Uh, Department H, kind of a mystery underwater. Very cool stuff, too. We get more Steve Ditko shorts. Uh, we got the Alex Toth Zorro works because this is some of the best drawings of all time also. We have Sarah by Garth Ennis because this was very good. Um, and there we go. All right. So... Finally, the omnibuses. <laughs> All right, so Annihilation Conquest. I have Annihilation. It's on my other shelf. Uh, it's like part of the Cosmic Universe, Amazing Fantasy, Acts of Vengeance. These are very hard to find. Uh, Alpha Flight by John Byrne, Lannis Attacks. I think that's actually getting hard to find now, too. Avengers 1, 3, and 4. Ver Volume 2 is pretty hard to find. I picked these up pretty cheap. Avengers by Hickman. These are way out of print and expensive, but great stuff. Captain America 1. There's a two and then a Jack Kirby I'm trying to get. Um, and I think uh, I'll stop there probably. Carnage, just Carnage's miniseries and things like that. Daredevil, volume one. Frank Miller, Daredevil. Now I've got a big shelf space here because I've got five more Daredevil omnibuses. I've got all of them. So, um, and they're just on my other shelf. I got a Deadly Hands of Kung Fu because I got this really cheaply. Um, and so I eventually want to go through this series. But uh, that's the reason I got that. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, the Electro by Frank Miller, Evolutionary War. Fantastic Four, one, two, three, and the John Byrne era. This is all the collected early stuff. Then uh, Wade comes after Onslaught and Heroes Reborn. Uh, then I have the Hickman Volume 2. I, saw, I showed you the paperbacks. I don't have Volume 1. If you want to donate one, let me know. Uh, Golden Age Captain America. Iron Man by David McElhinney. This is kind of getting hard to find. This is the direct market variant, which is actually the more expensive one. And I got this one for 30 bucks, pretty cool. Uh, Iron Man by Kurt Busiek. There's a follow-up to this, which I'm probably gonna get soon, just so I can read that whole line. John Carter, I got this real cheap too, and I'm very excited for this because this is uh, this is cool stuff right there. Edgar Rice Burroughs. Golden Age Marvel Comics. This uh, covers Captain America and Human Torch and Namor, which I've got in other forms too. But it's got more issues, so it's not a complete uh, overlap. Infinity War Origins, and this covers the early Thanos stuff. Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, um, and Infinity, Infinity Crusades coming up. Marvel Horror, this good 70s stuff that's been reproduced. Marvel Knights, this is a Daredevil omnibus, even though it says Marvel, Marvel Knights. Uh, comes right after his Volume 1 stops. Steve Ditko, Masters of Suspense. I've got Volume 2 by my bedside. This, these are short stories, so I like read them in between stuff. Uh, so it takes me a while to get through these, but they're awesome. Marvel Universe by Frank Miller. Marvel Universe by John Byrne. Two volumes. Marvel Universe by Rob Liefeld. I did a review of that. I actually liked it. Um, Man-Thing, which is a great uh, little 70s deal. We got The Monsters. These are more short stories, uh, but they're by Larry Lieber and Jack Kirby. Uh, we got Namor by John Byrne. The Power Pack, everybody's excited for that. Now, these Secret Wars volumes are very expensive, hard to find also. Um, I try to collect all the events, because I like events, and I wanna, I just want to have a breadth of the events. Shield the Complete Collection, this uh, has the old Stan Lee stuff and Starenko stuff. And then there's my Spider-Man. So I've got the first four volumes of Spider-Man. I mentioned the Masterworks come right after that. Um, and then it goes into this, which also covers some spectacular Spider-Man. After this, there's a break in the action where... Uh, you got to do the the costume saga trade paperbacks and get into some of the epics, which then overlap with this, uh, which has some the first appearances of Venom, Eric Larson's from the 300s and Cosmic Spider-Man's in here, some Spider-Man versus Venom. This has Maximum Carnage in it. Uh, gets up to that era. Todd McFarlane. Now this is that Spider-Man that didn't have you know no moniker in front of it, just Spider-Man, and it's like 13, 14 issues, right here. We get to the Clone Saga, uh, which which comes after all that stuff. Uh, ben Riley, which Volume 2 is supposed to come out later. John Byrne Omnibus, which covers a lot of those uh, a lot of those chapter ones over there. 
Straczynski 1. There's going to be a Straczynski 2 coming out in a couple weeks here. Uh, the Miles Morales, just got that on the cheap, so just figured might as well. It says Spider-Man on it. Um, and then Tangled Web, this is a, a, a little mini-series. Spear Foes, uh, that j I have not read this. I don't even know what it is, but um, I got it to round out the collection just because it said Spider-Man, I'm not going to lie. Okay, um, Heroes Return for Thor. Um, I've got the Thor by Simonson, but I've got that at the other shelf. Straczynski's Thor right here. This is out of print, hard to find also. Some cool Golden Age stuff. These have great restorations in them. Uh, and so the art's really nice to look at. Good history right there. Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Now this is uh, Kurt Busiek's deal. It, it goes through, it's like a Spider-Man year one and it really uh, overlaps with like the early Amazing Spider-Man stuff. And it's, it's very good, uh, worth the read. Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, also out of print, really hard to find now. The Ultimates, uh, to go with the Ultimate Universe. Um, it's a good series. It holds up pretty well. Two Venom Omnibuses. Oof, these are hard to read, but they're the Venom miniseries uh, from the 90s. Let's roll up. I got this as part of like a lot because I was like, okay, well, I've got all the cosmic events. I haven't read these yet, but that's uh, what's there. X-Force, and I've got this signed by Rob Liefeld, so it makes me very happy. Uncanny X-Men 1, 2, and 3. This is all the early Claremont stuff. Classic overlaps with this. It's just little stories that kind of go through that. I've got the Inferno prologue, but obviously don't have the actual event itself. This just follows Uncanny X-Men. I don't know why it's labeled something differently, but it is. Mutant Massacre, Fatal Attractions. Uh, this is the X-Men by Claremont and Lee. Good stuff too. Cyclops and Phoenix Wedding. Legion Quest. We get into the Age of Apocalypse. Onslaught. Scattershot, which comes after Heroes Were Born and all that. Revolution. This is another Claremont return. Operation Zero Tolerance, the 12. So this is like that 90s era. Um, then Grant Morrison comes and takes over. Uh, and then this is, this is new stuff. And this is really new stuff. I actually enjoyed this. And this is Jeff Loeb's, like, uh, and Tim Sale's little uh, deal, which has lots of, uh, lots of different content in it. And that's all my omnibuses. These are all my shelves. Um, I've seen a lot. Woo! Uh-oh. I've seen a lot... Uh, uh, more robust collections on the internet, but I, I haven't really seen a lot of, uh, full collections of epic collections out there. Uh, so I don't know, at least I got that pretty cool. And then over here, I've got my wall of like my books that I have for sale. So these are all my novels. So I pack those up and sell them to people. And then these are my, uh, different comics including flying sparks, which is great superhero stuff. If you love that, you should read it. All right, guys, I will see you soon. And this has been my tour.